Alright everyone, uh, this is Jabari, some know me as Legal Variety, some know me as Jabari's Beats, Jabari on a Beat, whatever you know me as. Um, this is my video, and I'm going to be walking you through how I made my hit single, uh, I Miss You So Much. As you can see here, it's 36,771 plays. On my YouTube channel, I think it has like 6,000, 5,000, something along those lines. Um, and I thought, you know, why not show everyone how I did it? Um, it's very simple. Um, so I'll start with the main melody. So, um, to preface this a little bit, I made this song, um, after my girlfriend broke up with me, actually. Best girlfriend I ever had, I just want to put that out there. Um, but at the time I was battling a lot of depression and it made me do, um, a lot of things like I didn't, uh, I wasn't happy with, like, um, and it put, a, it put a lot of stress on her. Um, but yeah, I was really depressed and... I had a bad panic attack, and the day after I had that bad panic attack, I decided to make this. I had no idea it would blow up the way it did, but it did. Um, so yeah, to start off in track one, sorry I don't decor decorate everything. I kind of made this like purely emotion based. Um, I have a lead, the infamous lead, at which I'll play. Feeling used, but I'm still missing you, and I can't. See the end of this, just wanna feel your kiss Against my lips and now all this time is passing by But I still can't seem to tell you why It hurts me every time I see you Realize how much I need you Alright, I'll stop that there Um, I can't remember where I got it. I think I just chopped it somewhere Somebody, either someone sent it to me or I chopped it out of somewhere Can't remember where Um it is in my sample pack that I'm going to be handing out soon. I hate. Sorry about that. Um, I can't really see where it is in here, but yeah, it's somewhere in there, somewhere in one of these sample packs that I'll, I'm going to be giving out soon. I have a lot of good samples in here. Um, but yeah, so that was the I called it the Drake lead baby. Um, as you can see. Um, and then I was listening to a lot of Drake songs, his old Drake stuff like Club Paradise and. Um, Marvin's room, and I heard a very similar kick or perk pattern, um, and it went something like this. Really simple, so it's doom, 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 doom. I heard that a lot in all his um, his very emotional songs, and I was like, shoot, that's that's amazing. At this time, I had very very shitty drum uh drum patterns or drum not drum patterns um drum sounds um which is why you kind of hear like a little bit of a deviation from lo-fi a bit um i had some shitty snares i'll let those play put some reverb on it and then i had now i had my uh, i had my drake vibe going um, if you know what that means, um, oh yeah, the hi hats. So at the time, um, I wasn't my hi hat game was pretty pretty crap. Um, so I just decided instead of having hi hats throughout, just put them very systematically throughout. So and then um, yeah, and I was getting my Drake vibe. The um, the Drake songs that are very emotional tend to have very minimalistic. Um, drums, but they're placed in a way that makes them seem very impactful. Um, so I had to channel my inner, like, simplicity on this one. Um, I'll just play the rest. Uh, oh yeah, these are the extra kicks I was talking about. Um, but yeah, I added an open hat. I'll let that play individually so you can hear it. Reverb on that. Yep. And then here's my extra kick. So yeah, these kicks are, I think, a little bit lower, yeah, quite lower than the original kicks, but that is very typical in Drake songs. I repeat, it's either a kick or a perk, but one of these perks will always go lower. Boom, 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 um, so yeah, now I have my Drake vibe solidified, and I had to, you know, retain my lo-fi edge, so I decided to throw in some fireworks effects. Uh, pretty simple. Yeah, 
really simple fireworks beautiful though i can't i can't i can't lie it makes you just want to cry right mm. Mm -hmm. but yeah um so now that i have um before i walk through the mixing and all that stuff i'm just going to let it play um from what you guys heard in the hit realize how much i need you feeling you but still missing you and i Yeah, um, cool, great, solid, um, so that's what you guys hear. Now, it was on to the mixing and mastering. Um, first thing I always, uh, I tend to do a lot, just let the master fade in. Yeah, it just fades in a little bit, um, that's it right here. Fades in a little bit, you get to, uh, I don't know, adds a little bit more emotion to me. Um, I threw on a love filter on, I think pretty sure the main vocals um that's a typical drake um 40 said it's not a simply a love filter but um for a novice like me at the time it was a typical drake thing you see it trigger it just makes things sound like they're underwater if i take it off this is what it is. really simple as to the drake vibe um and then we move over to oh yeah 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 so in the in the middle of the song I had like a little bridge pause whatever um I didn't want it to be a consistent jump pattern throughout I wanted the vocals to rock a little bit along with the fireworks and the filter and give you that like nostalgic dreamy cry feel so feeling you but I'm still missing you and I can see the end of it just wanna fireworks in the middle and then i think i added like a little reverse I'm pretty sure that's a reverse yeah i use gross beat basic eight i use it a lot in like a lot of my beats lo-fi and not lo-fi just puts a little reverse at the end um but it gives you that so it hurts me every 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 day sorry about that but yeah it kicks back in um i think i did something here at the end i can't remember again here at the end this was supposed to come in at one point i think i just didn't put it in um it was supposed to like mess around with the vocals and, like, dun, 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 and, and stuff like that um i don't think i really got around to it i guess i just forgot but yeah for the second half to end out the song i let the reverse play again um another thing i learned in lo-fi listen to a lot of tampa beats ginseng or those guys, um, at the end, they let the main melody drop, and then you just have the FX. So it's like, adds a little bit more impact, um, very emotional. Yeah, it's just things you pick up, tools of the trade. Um, no one really taught me this, but I kind of just emulated these things myself. Um, but yeah, that's how I made my hit single, I Miss You So Much, called Boat Party Tears here in the FLP. I didn't think it would take off the way it did. Um, very simple, very emotional based. At the time, I didn't have mixing headphones, so I had to play it on my um, speakers out in the living room and make sure it was like mixed properly. Uh, I to this day, I feel like I could have did a better job on mixing. I kind of tried to like layer things. I didn't EQ anything. Um, well, I kind of did was level and pan. Kind of wish I did more, but um, at the time. I was still learning, pretty novice producer. Can't believe I made a hit during that time. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these tutorials or showcases, uh, let me know. This was really fun. Um, my sample pack is on the way. Sorry it's taking so long. Um, I'm really self-conscious about it. Ton of samples. <laughs> Ton of samples in there can't wait to give that to you guys um and there's not just one sample pack there's two um working on it a little bit a lot of these you um you probably heard on my beat tape starstruck sorry about that um i have also some drums in here Yeah, I'm really glad I could share this with you guys. Um, whatever other songs you want to see how I made them, 
comment, let me know. Um, on a road to 1K, please help me build this channel up. I love all you guys a lot. Uh, money, baby.